Sorry about yesterday. Actually, today is probably worse than yesterday. The pain that's coming from my leg is just unbearable. I had some uh, a scheduled video to come out yesterday and it just didn't happen. I'm sorry. I uh, just happened to be going through it. But anyway, I wanted to make this video um, as a starter to education on this disease. Um, I remember when everything happened, I was a federal officer for like seven years and my son got sick. Um, he has a disease where he had to have steel rods put in his leg. So I went to the oil field and came back about a year and a few months later, I had the tumor on my face. And uh, I thought it was the oil field, but I legitimately think it was, it's just rare bone disease and that's what all the doctors are telling me. But how it happened was I went to the dentist for this routine checkup. Same dentist I've had for the last five, six years. I went there for a routine checkup and uh, I went to see the hygienist. And she goes, hey, Mr. Henderson, wait a second. Let me go talk to the doctor real quick. She comes back. They literally are jogging into the office saying, hey, you need to go see the specialist. Of course, me and my wife are like, hey, what's wrong? They're like, we can't say nothing, we just need to go see a dentist or another specialist. We go see that specialist. Specialist does almost the same thing. Hey, we need you to go see this specialist. So now we're getting more. Finally, the specialist that we get to, he tells us, you have a disease called amblyoblastoma, and I'm referring you to my college professor, Dr. Ellis, who wrote the book on the surgery. So, as I say that, I want everybody to know that it can happen just like that. It went from, like, I'm talking this much of feeling something in one tooth to all of this. So, be mindful when you go to your doctor or you feel something, always talk about it. You never know what it is. It could be nothing. It could be something. So, that's how it happened for me. Um, I was also almost, I was almost 370 pounds. So I was, I was, I was getting up there. Um, so in, a, in kind of a weird way, it's a blessing because now I'm 203 pounds. But like I said, just education wise, don't ever feel something anywhere in your body and just be like, oh, that's all good. Because you never know, it might not be all good. Another thing is, is always, 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 if somebody says, hey, would you like to do x-rays? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Always take an x-ray. If it's free, take an x-ray. Don't ever think, oh, my, I, I got to get here. I got to go there. I'm in a rush. Take the x-ray. Take the x-ray. It may save your life. It may save it may save your life. I'm sorry I look all crazy guys. I just wanted to bring this educational video. I've got another stage leading into my first surgery video coming up probably Friday or Saturday. I just wanted to apologize first for the video not coming out on time. But like I said, I was in a lot of pain yesterday and I'm in some today. I just, I just had to get up and fight the fight and get this video out to y'all. I'm going to keep going, uh, trying to get these videos to Ellen, Steve Harvey, anybody on TV, anybody out to hear it, and just get this information out to everybody. Like I said, keep smiling. Look, I'm in so much pain, I forgot, I forgot what I was really trying to say. <laughs> I said I finally took my medicine about 10 minutes ago, but keep laughing, keep fighting. Fellow Blastome Warriors, it's just one day in your life. In my case, it's been a few months, 
I seriously mess longer than that, but that's how I gotta keep my head, that's how I keep my head tight and keep everything moving. Keep laughing, keep fighting. Uh, I'll get y'all in the next video.